turn off to Pukeki River Road. Yeah. Ryan reckons 45 minutes or so, you reckon? About 40 minutes probably. Oh yeah, Steve, we would have still been back there. <laughs> All right. Put your crash helmet on now, Gary. <laughs> How's it, everyone? Gary here. Here we are. Three days up the Takapo area, Mackenzie country, with Brian and Steve. Yep. Ryan's on. Oh, yes. Hope you caught that in the background. <laughs> And Ryan's record stands, he says every time he's fished, every time he's fished this, he's caught one. What was that, Brian? Record is intact. Nice to have you along to the Kiwi Fly Fisherman channel, everyone. Brian's just landing his fish there now. Is that a rainbow? Brown. Oh, nice size, too. Fish is on, and the game's on. We've just started. The car is kind of back there. I've already had a go to fish and spooked us with my cicada. Uh, so we have fish on for smoke fish for tea. Steve spooked a couple already there, he reckons. I've, I've looked Such at this nice. hole several times and I've gone, there has to be fish in there. Absolutely. But I've never caught, caught one out of there. Yeah, absolutely. And I can't say I've actually <laughs> seen one there, but there has to be a fish down in there. I would agree. It's too deep, we're not getting deep enough for them. Could be, eh? There's a bit of structure down there too, some rocks and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Spin Fisherman is up ahead of us, Brian, covering some water there. It's now about half three, three thirty in the afternoon. All right, folks. I'm sorry I haven't got my mount with me here, but I can see a nice fish just up in this pool here. He doesn't look that big, but he's feeding actively, so we're going to see how we get on, guys. All right. I've seen one fish just about twenty meters ahead of me. Then about 20 meters ahead of him, there's another one. And I don't think I've got a willow grub, which is what I wanted to try here, guys. Seen the odd splash out of the willow trees there. So I'm going to try my best to find something close to a willow grub imitation. So far, so unlucky. Are you going to show your girls what you're eating for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. My boys are eating. That's a beauty. Evidence. We've got some evidence here of a brown trout. It's about one and a half pounds. That actually looks closer to two pounds. It's a yeah. fatty. It is fatty. It's a beauty. Hey, so good morning. So Brian picked up a couple of fish yesterday. That's nice. He's in for the ice cream at the moment. I found the spot to put the hammock up, but I didn't sleep here last night. I'll take you to the spot where I did sleep and show you around the campsite. It's a long weekend, Waitangi in New Zealand, so it's pretty busy, guys. This is just to store gear. This is our own little toilet and shower area. Got our own picnic table. The gas cooker here, some chairs. Got the Black Mariah and got this lovely Swift uh, caravan. It's a 640 Lux without the awning put up at the moment. There's Brian's wagon. <coughs> Doing a tour of the caravan here. <laughs> and the coffee machine. And Brian's just taking the Rusties out. What are those, Brian? Rusties. Yeah, what flavors? Or? Camarero Rusties. Oh. Enough bacon, the water's nearly good for the eggs. Oh, and the most important, I think, of the morning. 
<laughs> Coffee. <laughs> Got the grinder here. Brian roasted these beans himself. Yeah. So that's where Brian slept. Steve and I down that end. Alrighty. The all important Hollander is sauce. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading that way guys, that way, the Dobson today. <laughs> So, sorry, would you like to tell us where we are, Angler? We're <laughs> on the Hopkins, heading towards the Dobson. There we go. Yeah, there's Steve already keen as mustard to get out there. We've got the beautiful Oha range, the ski field back here. And uh, it's the middle of summer. We're hoping to see rising trout and bending rods today. So, welcome aboard. We'll catch up with you on the river. Yeah. Right, let's see how we go. <laughs> right, jet boats having their fun. Uh, let's see how we get on crossing here. Yeah, it's not too strong, it's just going to be a little deeper for you. Yeah, yeah, the structure. Oh, the structure is it? Yeah. Man, we got two more jet boats coming. Ah, <laughs> oh, Steve's made his way to the main river. Just come slightly down river so you can fight, not fight the current. We've got to the Andes. Actually, it's swifter over here. Yeah, it was better through here, I think. <laughs> it was almost to the temperature gauge, not quite. This is a kind of, uh, this is where waders are helpful because you don't have a lot of brush that will kind of catch your, your waders. I've got waders. But yeah, this is the breathable waders on a day like this. Um, yeah, these fellas come. Gee, there's about six people on each one of these, eh? <laughs> yeah, look how it churns up the river, yeah. Hey? yeah. Definitely churns it up. That's a strong boat, man. Oh, they just hone. That's all they do.
Oh, nice, yes. I don't think I've ever seen this many uh, jet boats in my life before, Brian. Yeah, yeah, they're still coming. <laughs> well, it's just noise. Just noise. Nice hole for spin fishing, eh? You'd cover this a bit. <laughs> You'd cover this a bit faster. Then I oh, will. There must be like 40 jet boats past you. Yeah. Hey, that's ridiculous. Yeah, crazy man. Never seen that before. Churning up our water. Ah, what was a nice clear hole? We can't see a thing now. <laughs> turn around and head back <laughs> right we're back at the car almost just to give you an idea though how these jet boats have mucked up our day today this pool earlier was crystal clear here remember how crystal clear this yeah, pool was this morning yeah, I know. and it's just munted like the rest of the river <laughs> thanks to Oh, 50 plus jet boats hooning up and down. Okay. What kind of wood chips? Manuka. Nice. Manuka wood chips. Should be enough. Under? Yeah, I think that's enough. That's a bit more than we normally use. We don't, we normally uh, smoke up. How do we do it, Steve? In the smoker. <laughs> so you just cut it through, don't you? Straight down? Yeah, yeah. Do you like the... 
Yeah, it's a beauty. There's lots to like about it. Oh, there goes the I've got, I have actually got another one in the tower, but it's really good. I, I'd left my filleting knife behind one year. So I, before I had that one, so I bought this one from the hunting shop in Twice, which is not a bad one, too. Alright. Grill, it might get a bit more of the smoke on the grill. All right, you'll know your gadget. All right, sounds it, everyone. Yeah, disappointing day up the Dobson River area. We had so many jet boats that just dirtied up the water. So, we, although we saw a few kind of shadows, fishing wasn't happening. Pretty disappointing back at the campsite and uh, we've got Brian's trout from last night. It's in the smoker mate. We're gonna have some bourrevors, a bunch of stuff to eat, we've got salads and then Brian reckons we're gonna go walk down for about 20 minutes or so, half an hour down the Twizel River and then have an evening fish back towards the cove. So We'll see how we get on. Right, we just got that off. We've got some fish row there that I've already eaten half of. Nobody, no other takers for the fish row. And there's the burrows. Mm. Alright, let's capture that. Oh, what is that, Brian? Tell us. It's uh, <laughs> garlic and herb potatoes. So Fried the butter. Pie boiled garlic uh, potatoes first. Oh, this is clamping. That is a serious insect. Wow. Never seen one of those dudes before. Eating the whole pie. Mm. All right, we're going to go down for a fish, an evening fish, on the Twizel River now. Man, this is blind fishing, eh? Can't see the fly, can't see the fish. I can see emerges coming off the surface. They look a bit like daddy's face. Oh, this wind. <laughs> oh, 
Oh guys, this Twizel River is really tough at this time of the day. If you can see, but there's no chance to see the fish unless they're rising. It's clear. It's running beautifully. Nice and low, but boy, it's tough. This is tough. <laughs> and the sun's going down. We've got about 15 minutes of sun before it goes behind them hills. There we go, guys. The last of the sun today. Today being Saturday, the 6th of February, and it's Waitangi weekend here in New Zealand. So we've actually got a public holiday on Monday, which is great. But we said to Brian, we're saying goodbye to him tomorrow. Uh, so we can get back to our family, Steve and I. And uh, Brian's going to stay another day. There the fellas are down there. The Wanderers. Right, folks, here we are on the Ohau River. Uh, we got a quick fish before we head back to Christchurch, actually. And it's a lot of didymo. Yeah, lots of didymo, yeah, Brian. All right. The rod tip was in the water. Look at the didymo already on the rod tip. Ah, oh, that's a sad state. It's going to be interesting today. More didymo there. Haven't even started fishing yet. Not too slippery, thankfully. Yeah. Oop. Bit of a push across here that current's pushing it in towards the bank. No, it's good water. I'm happy with this. This is yummy water. Very nice. Went down there. I got a nice weighted nymph on today. Oh. Yeah. Problem, yeah, I think I'm going to have to check this fly every... Make sure there's no didymo on it. Yeah, <laughs> that nymph's taking it down. Certainly a weighted nymph. Man, there's a lot of rock snot here. Woof.
Where's the dry? Right. The limbs may be a bit too heavy for this dry. Hmm. I'm just going to come back a bit closer to your way there. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Uh, just work out so we can be back at the car at about quarter to twelve. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, just leave that front for me still. I'm getting there. <laughs> Look at this thing. No record breaker here. At least I know he's taken my nymph. It's a little rainbow. <laughs> he nabbed the nymph. See ya. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, look at this now. This is what we contend with today. Rock snot. Oh my gosh. It's going to be a mission to keep clearing this off. Man, did he my way. It's like matted toilet paper around the blimmin' line. I am on the board, Brian. This is true. Ah, Steve's got a nice little pocket of water to fish here. He's just going down there now. Yeah, this is a good run of water for him. All right, guys, thanks again for joining the Kiwi Fly Fisherman. We're out of here. We're heading back to Christchurch. I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.